everybody, AmpRepairGuy.com, 203-892-4119. So we have another Kenwood TL922A here. Super clean, has the 10 meter mod already. I have the side cover off. I put a, a electrolytic in here, I just tagged it in temporarily. Uh, the other one was shorted so I could make sure the winding was okay that powers the relays it is the filament transformer is okay band switch is okay I already removed one of the grid caps here so I'm going to remove the rest of the components looks like it has the original chokes uh, it doesn't look like it ever had them replaced so probably never had a tube short so I'll replace I'll re remove all of that ground all the grids do the bias modification the SO 239s look good Clean all the contacts, all that, the straps, and do everything to the top also. So, air variables on this. I took a really good look this time, and they are super clean. So, okay, so I'm going to get to work, and I will be back soon. Stay tuned. I'm back with the completed TL922 here. Grounded the grids, did the bias modification, cleaned the rotary switch with deoxic gold, cleaned the TR relay with deoxic gold, uh, changed that cap over there, and uh, that's about it for the bottom. Also added that strap over here, and uh, tightened up on connections, and bottom's good to go. I also Clean the contacts on the relay back there when I work on one. I wanted to point that out. Check the SO239s, they're good. Okay, I'll flip it over and show you the top. Be right back. Okay, so I'm back with the completed amplifier. Added the strap over here, series glitch resistor, meter protection diode. So whenever I get one of these amplifiers in, I always make sure that winding's good on the filament transformer that powers the relays and, and also in the stock configuration puts the tubes in the cutoff. It's called force bias. I changed it over to self bias. And I also changed the electrolytic right off the bat uh, in case it's shorted. In this case, it was shorted. So I went to try to key the amp, you know, with the tubes out, just key it to see if the relays would engage, and they would not. So I took a voltage reading. Voltage was there, but wasn't keying. So come to find out, the standby operate switch was dirty. This thing had been sitting for over 10 years. So I cleaned it with deoxy gold, and that's good to go. Okay, so second problem, fan was not working. So I took a voltage reading at the actual fan terminals, wasn't there so found a bad solder joint underneath the board and I fixed that also cleaned the contacts on this relay that's the switch side of the fan so and then I had voltage back there fan still wasn't working so I replaced the fan uh, I end up getting the proper fan it's made by Ryan this is the old fan you want the one with the same wattage rating otherwise it'll uh, change the delay off circuit and if you get a different fan you'll have to change the resistor value so it's just easier to get the right fan this amp got a brand new set of pentalab tubes awesome company great customer service you know if you need an amplifier repaired feel free to give me a call i work on the ones you see on my youtube channel and that's about it you know so or if you need a custom project on uh, like the other thing uh, like the six meter amp feel free to give me a call so Thanks for watching. Website is AmpRepairGuy.com, 203-892-4119. That's 203-892-4119. Please like, share, and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. 73.